The 2-1 Cleveland Browns will try and stay over the 500 mark, but to do so will have to slow down the 1-2 Dallas Cowboys, who despite a sub-500 record, are still putting up a ton of points. This is caught by Cedric Wilson. He is in for the touchdown. Dak Prescott and the Cowboys passing attack put up 483 yards on the Seahawks last week and are averaging over 380 in their first three games. Dak Prescott airs it out on the first play and he's got Gallup. And if they weren't already hard enough to cover, now teams are having to worry about Cedric Wilson on top of Dallas's other three receiving weapons. Here's one caught. And now toward the end zone, of, it's Wilson again. The Browns have been average against the pass so far. McCord with running room up the sideline. But they have Miles Garrett up front, who's coming off a two-sack performance. David Haskins in trouble, that's a strip. Ball is out and it's recovered by Miles Garrett. So their pass rush may be their best counterpunch to the Cowboys passing game. Pressure comes and he's sacked. The Browns, of course, will have to account for Ezekiel Elliott, too, but he's coming off one of the worst games you'll ever see from him. Here is Elliott, and now they're saying safety. Elliott's effectiveness has dipped each game from the start of the year. Elliott spun down in the backfield. Cleveland wasn't great against the run last week. But through three games, they have held teams to under four yards a carry. And McKissick with nowhere to go. The same can be said about Dallas's run D. Not great last week. A little toss to Carson, huge gain. But on the year, allowing 3.8 a run, which is plenty good. Nothing to the back, so that's usually a big part of this offense. Their run stuffing abilities will be put to the test, of course, because the Browns also sport an elite back. Chubb to the outside. Chubb with a crease, step to a tackle. Chubb to the end zone, that's a touchdown. Nick Chubb had another game that showed why he should probably be the centerpiece of the Browns' offense. Chubb again. There's a cutback. You're right about the cutback. And he took it all the way in for the touchdown. Because even though the Browns' passing numbers don't jump off the page at you, it's the quality of those numbers that matter. Second down. Mayfield to the air. To Hunt. To the end zone. To the touchdown. Baker Mayfield only threw for 156 yards versus Washington, but two TDs, no picks, a rating over 110. Coming throws for the end zone. He's got Harrison Bryant for the touchdown. That's number six, recognizing the matchup and taking advantage of the matchup. It might be tempting, though, to throw it more against the Cowboys' pass defense. Deep ball, oh, there oh, it is. Oh, Wide oh. open, touchdown, lock it. 315 more yards allowed to Russell Wilson last week and the second highest rating allowed in the NFL. Wilson keeps, flips it, pass, caught, touchdown, lock it. If the Browns do throw more, though, be wary of Alden Smith. On second down, Wilson is set. That's Alden Smith. Smith had a sack hat trick last week, continuing one of the greatest comeback stories in NFL history. Wilson is going to be set for the third time in the game. That's Alden Smith. So the field will be rampant with star power. Some will have it on their helmets, others not. But this game has serious intrigue written all over it. Who do you like? Get those score predictions in the comments section. We will get ours into the graphics section. Third and nine. Mayfield with all kinds of time. Nobody open. Mayfield on the run to the sideline. And there's Beckham and Odell Beckham Jr. leaping high to get the first down. With that makeshift offensive line, it's second and eight. The line holds up. Gallup has got it for the touchdown.